the natural state of the human being is to be naked. But we have been brought up to experience ourselves as isolated centers of awareness and action placed in a world that is not us, that is foreign, alien, other, which we confront. Whereas, in fact, what you do is what the whole universe is doing at the place you call here and now. You are something the whole universe is doing in the same way that a wave is something that the whole ocean is doing. The real you is not a puppet which life pushes around. The real deep down you is the whole universe as a singer sings a song. We've been hoodwinked into the feeling that we exist only inside our skins. We need to experience ourselves in such a way that we could say that our real body is not just what's inside the skin, but our whole total external environment. Because if we don't experience ourselves that way, we mistreat our environment. We treat it as an enemy. We try to beat it into submission. And if we do that, it comes disaster. We exploit the world we live in. We don't treat it with love and gentleness and respect. Cut down millions of acres of forests to turn it into newspaper of all things. Lovely trees turned into information about nothing. And we don't replace them properly. We kick the world around in revenge, the feeling that really we are puppets which the world kicks around. And in the same way, we are unaware of the sources of our consciousness. We don't know how we know. We are ignorant of, we ignore. It doesn't come within the scope of our attention how it is that we manage to be conscious. Because you see, underneath the superficial self, which pays attention to this and that, there is another self, more really us than I. And if you become aware of that unknown self, the more you become aware of it, the more you realize that it is inseparably connected with everything else that there is that you are a function of this total galaxy. This galaxy is a function of all other galaxies. And that vast thing that you see far off, far off, far off the telescope, you look and look and look, one day you're going to wake up and say, why, that's me. And in knowing that, know, you see, that you never die. You are the eternal thing that comes and goes. It appears now as John Jones, now as Mary Smith, now as Betty Brown, so it goes forever and ever.